Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. The Golden State Warriors lose to the Detroit Pistons by a score of 115 to 107. You know what? Um, as far as the Warriors go, you know, after the first seven games, the Warriors have just been very inconsistent. And there's just no other way to sum it up, man. You got to keep it 100. I know the Warriors are my hometown team, but I'm not letting them off the hook, and I'm not giving them a pass neither. They're coming off a championship, and... They're just barely scratching the surface. I mean, come on. The Warriors are four and three. Okay? You I mean, you can understand them being like, you know, out of seven games, you expect to be like five and two or some shit like that. You can understand that. But they're barely above five hundred. And before we start saying, well, the Warriors are gonna get it going pretty soon, the question is, okay, when? Okay, what happens a month from now and the Warriors are like one game above five hundred or or one game under 500, then what? You know what I'm saying? They got to get it going sooner or later. You keep waiting for that moment where you think the Warriors is going to break off. Okay, after this game, they're going to break off six or seven in a row. And then, as of lately, it hasn't happened. Yes, only seven games have been played. But with the Warriors, you expect more out of them because they're the defending NBA champions. You know what I'm saying? And they lose to Detroit at home. They're not going to Detroit get beat. They get beat by by Detroit at home. You know? Keep in mind, as I said before, and I truly believe it, if the Warriors wouldn't have went to the NBA Finals and won with Kevin Durant, I truly believe that Steve Carr would have got fired. And that's what people don't understand. Steve Carr has high expectations now since he came out the gate his rookie year and won rookie year as a coach and won an NBA championship. The ownership group of the Lord, uh, uh, of the Warriors, they expect, you know, the Warriors to at least go to the NBA Finals. And to be honest with you, they expect them to win. You know, I'm just keeping it 100. Steve Kerr got a lot of pressure on him to win. You know, now, of course, I'm not going to say he's going to be fired or nothing like that, but what I'm saying is... He has a lot of pressure on him to win. And the Warriors are just not getting it done. They're not playing good basketball. They have been very up and down so far. You know, like I said, you keep wondering when is that moment going to happen where they look like they're the defending NBA champions, where they look like they can't be beat. But it hasn't happened. And you know what I'm saying? they seven games in. So... I don't know, man. As I said before, man, I'll call it right down the middle, man. If the Warriors not doing good, they get criticized too. I'm not giving them no passes. I'm not making excuses for them. It is no reason for the Warriors to be playing and losing games like they're doing. It's just, that's just real talk. So we'll we'll see we'll we'll see what happens in a month. We'll see what happens in a couple of days. But as of right now, the Warriors are not looking that good. The Warriors look like a mediocre team. They do not look like a defending NBA champion. I'm sorry. I'm out.